Hello, my name is Greg Anderson. I'm a professor of history at Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio in the US. And first I'd like to very humbly thank Evelyn and Linda for kindly inviting me to join the HDHS Global Advisory Board and to contribute to and attend uh, this very uh, worthy conference. My message is a simple and straightforward one, namely that dignity should be something plural not singular. Let me briefly explain. Now, if I've learned one thing from being a professional historian for the last uh, 25 or so years, it is that humans have always lived in a pluriverse of many different worlds, not in a universe of just one. And I mean this quite literally. Human communities have successfully lived by multitudes of different truths about the foundations and the essences of experience. I mean truths about what it means to be human, about personhood, subjectivity, sociality, rationality, about all the non-human phenomena with which one coexists, about the ultimate components of the cosmos, about the superhuman forces and agencies which make life possible, and about the sources, means, and ends of life itself. In sum, through their extraordinarily diverse ways of life, human communities have enacted innumerable different realities across time and space. Yet people of European descent have all but obliterated this pluriverse of many different worlds over the past two to 300 years. Through their sciences, their colonialism, their imperialism, their capitalist developmentalism, these Europeans have progressively imposed on the globe a novel, wholly anomalous kind of reality, one founded on uncompromising commitments to materialism, anthropocentrism, secularism, and individualism. And in the process, they have all but extinguished countless non-modern worlds that had been ecologically successful for hundreds, if not thousands of years. But many indigenous and other subaltern peoples refuse to let their worlds die. They are now, as we speak, actively struggling to maintain and revitalize the realities bequeathed to them by their gods, their spirits and their ancestors. They're fighting to restore the intricate webs of dependency and reciprocity between humans, non-humans and superhumans that had so long sustained their people before the coming of the Europeans. For such peoples, dignity may well not mean what it means to secular individualist people in liberal modernity. For them, dignity will begin when they get to decide for themselves what dignity actually looks like. For this reason, dignity should be plural and not singular. Thank you very much.